Today I'd like to take you through the new App Store look and give you an orientation to some of the things that they've changed. I did a tutorial um, a couple months back on the App Store and since then it's changed enough that I think it might help to have a little bit better orientation of it. So I'd like to show you that. Um, the first thing that you need to do to access the App Store is to make sure that you're connected to the internet. You can see in my upper left hand corner that I have a um, wireless access signal that's strong so I'm okay I'm connected so now I need to find the App Store app because I'm always accessing the App Store I put that on my dock so here's mine right here I'm gonna go ahead and launch the App Store and let's take a look at what we've got here a lot of our information used to be across the top of our screen in the App Store and now they've changed that to put it at the bottom. So I'm just going to start on the left hand side and click on Featured. Once that pops up you'll see that now the top has a menu as well. So I want to show you a couple of things. Across the top you can actually look at specific categories. You can look at games. You can search in education, newsstand, or you can go to more. But let's keep growing across the screen and see we have a search bar here. And you can see the last item I searched for was apps um, to teach us about perimeter. So there is a search engine built directly into our app store. Across the top of the app store, what you're seeing here are some featured apps. And then as you go down, you can see that there are these categories. Here's new and noteworthy. And then the next category is what's hot. And then as I scroll down, there are more categories to go through. So under what's hot, there's games, newsstand, education. You can see that. And then here's a new section, um, temporary probably, called Explore the Ocean. So lots of, you just need to scroll down through the App Store and you'll find lots of different um, bits open. Oh, there's one more under the sea. So it looks like it's a water theme this month. Um, but then my favorite part, I guess, at the bottom of the App Store is if you're new to the App Store, you can click on new to the App Store and it'll give you an overview of what the App Store is. But then there's all these other sections too that you can pull, um, you know, apps from specific types of categories. So that's kind of nice. You can also see your Apple ID here in case you've forgotten. If you get a gift card, um, you can redeem that. This is where you would put the gift card information in. You click on the redeem button. And then if you wanted to send a gift to someone, you could actually do that as well. So if you wanted to gift an app to a friend or someone, you could do that. So I'm just going to click on one of these areas here. I'm going to go into education. So I just tapped on that category. And notice that it pulls up the same type of view that we had before. New and noteworthy, what's hot. Now it changes. Big ideas, explore the ocean. That's one of the same ones. But then the, the quick links down below you can see have changed a little bit too. And then here's one, apps for teachers apps for kids, even special education apps. So be sure to use those categories that, that come up on that main featured screen. I'm just going to click on one of these apps to show you a little bit more of once you've kind of um, narrowed your browsing down to a category and you want to explore specific apps. So I'm just going to click on the app that's called Psychobabble. I tap on that and um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you specific information about how to get um, good apps by looking at the apps instead of just downloading them and playing them, just looking at them in the App Store. So watch for that tutorial next.